Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Di. Welcome to my YouTube channel for this week's Teach Me Tuesdays, episode 138. And today I'm going to share with you the August goodies and guts so that um, if you earn these, you have um, a video that you can reference back to in order to make your projects. And I had several of you contact me after I did a cute little um, peekaboo bag last week and you said could I possibly put that as one of the guts and I thought oh okay um, so it's going to be a little bit different so what I'll do is um, I'm going to show you the pieces and then I will just reference you back to the video where I made the cute little bag that way you don't have to watch me do it all over again so um, so that will be a little bit a little bit different. I also pre-taped this month because last month we had some connection issues and um, it was just not good so I had to um, keep redoing it so I thought you know what I'm just gonna pre-tape and that way if I have any issues um, I shouldn't. We've been having a few storms in Arizona the last couple days and we actually lost our internet last night so I thought you know what I'm just gonna pre-tape it and hopefully we don't have any issues. So my name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in the Santan Valley, Arizona. So if you have been here before, thank you for joining me again and welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I come on my YouTube channel three times a week and then usually I do like a quick little um, video on Saturday. So Monday is my Mimeograph Monday with a twist. So hopefully you've been enjoying those. And then again, um, Tuesday are my Teach Me Tuesdays. And then Friday I do dyes shorts. And those videos um, tend to be a little bit shorter. Um, sometimes I'm just showing you a, a, a trick or something like that. So um, I so enjoy our, our chats when I do the live. Now what I'll be doing whenever I pre-tape, if, if I can, I watch with you so that um, when you chat on the side, if you have any questions, I can answer you. Um, otherwise, when I do the lives, I always try to answer verbally, but when I pre-tape, I just have to answer you by typing. So I'm gonna stop blabbing so I can um, get get going here so you're not here all day all right so hold on i'm just gonna cover the camera so you don't get seasick when i get in place here all right so that looks pretty good all right good 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 all right now so let's see let's see let's see now there's a few things that i offer for um orders and one of them is the my country dozen reward points so when you place an order i email you this chart and then you just keep track of it now this chart once you earn eggs i just always have done the eggs um when you order a, earn a dozen eggs you get 35 and free from me and this is just the chart to keep track of them now how you or earn them are when you order fifty dollars before tax and shipping on a single order you earn one egg and then you just keep track of it on here but then i also earn you i also offer goodies and guts so that is just if you place it um a 75 so you would have your 50 here you know on a single order to get your reward point but then let's say later on during <clears throat> during the month you order $30 of stuff before taxing shipping and now you've gone over the 75 so when you do 75 I offer goodies and guts so it's kind of like a win-win um and the 75 for the goodies and guts is accumulative so you can order several times during the month and then those come together to get to the 75 so it's a little bit different from the rewards I have done the rewards forever and I didn't want to take them away but I wanted to offer um, some other things so that's how I just um, put them together all right so for August the goodies are the fun adhesive backed stars now I have used these multiple times on my videos and they're super fun and they have adhesive on them so you just pop them off but they're super cute. I've been using them for snow as well, not just stars, and they're super fun. So you can check, you can choose the goodies or the guts that we're gonna do today. But if you place an order, if you order 
um, is 150 during the month, then you get both goodies and guts. Now you want to make sure that you use my hostess code for the month if you aren't in one of my um, stamp clubs because you have your own code for that. So if you are ordering less than 150, please use my code. If you are ordering over 150 before tax and shipping on a single order, don't use the code because then you will get your hostess benefits. All right, let's see. Let's start here. All right. Now, this is what your goodie packet looks like. So this is August goodie packet. It's got your little post-it thank you, a little business card in there. And then you just peel this off and you've got all the stuff that you need here. So there's a business card in there. All right, so let's get started with our cards. All right, so this is the first card and these are the beautiful now we have run out of these so you I have a limited amount of the guts packets for this month so keep that in mind and that these are the awesome they were um, available during celebration but we ran out of them but I grabbed a few packets so that I knew that I wanted to play with them so this is the first card so let me show you the finished card so you have an idea of what we're doing so this is the first card so you're going to get all the supplies that you need to make this card so let's begin all right so we have our envelope you have all the stuff that you need here so you have your your card base you have the inside of your card right here and then you need this DSP and this DSP. Now, if you are going to be writing on the inside of your card, you might want to do that before you glue um, your DSP together. But I'm just assembling today, so I'm going to just <clears throat> finish assembling it. And then if I need to write a note, I can add a note later. All right, so we're just going to put these two DSPs together on the bottom. And then that's going to go on the bottom there. And that way the inside of the card goes with the outside of the card. So this was a such a pretty pack of cards and envelopes. So I thought I'm definitely going to use that for my guts because it was so pretty. All right, so there's the inside. And like I said, I'm not putting anything on the inside. That way I can decide if I want to make it a note card. But if you want to stamp something on it, just, you know, you could stamp first if you want it. All right, then we have some soft sea foam. That's going to go on here. Now I've already, you know, it already has the texture on it with the mortar um, die. And then I will also put the supplies I use underneath the video. That way, if you do want to make the cards like I did, you can reference back to the list so that you can get the stuff you need. If you don't have the stuff I have, it's not a big deal. You can just use a different stamp set. Okay, so I'm putting this on at an angle. All right. All right, so this is going to go on this piece here, but I want you to put this little piece on first because it's a little bit bigger, and then we'll just use this piece to trim off our ends. That way it's going to be good and even. So you just turn it over and just trim off your ends. And then I just put all the pieces on the floor. It's crazy. All right. I'm sure that's how they do it on the baking shows too, right? If you watch a, a cooking show, I'm sure they just put stuff all over the floor. All right. Now this is going to go on here like that. And then inside this little envelope, you need, get that out of there, that you need, ooh, that was a good glued envelope with them. All right, so you have this little thing. Now this is just a tooth flosser, but it's going to help us put the little bell on. All right, and then we also want this. 
And this, we have lots coming out. I probably should have just dumped the whole envelope. All right, we need this for the other card. All right, so let's see here. We want to take our thread, our baker's twine, and I'm gonna wrap it twice around the card. And then I just try to make sure that these tails are pretty close to being the same length. All right, then just flip it over. And I like to put a little piece of scotch tape on the back, nobody sees it, but it's just gonna hold the baker's twine in place while we mess around with it. All right, so this is where this comes in handy. And this is just what people use to floss their braces or if you have bridges or whatever, but it's just gonna help us. So we're gonna take this right here. Whoops, let me put it up this way. And you're gonna put your thread, your baker's twine, right through there. And what that does is it pulls it through your bell. And then do the same thing. Put it through and pull it through the bell. All right, so now we have our cute little bell is threaded. Now don't lose that because it's so small, but you can, they're readily available at like a drugstore. All right, or like Amazon, everything's on Amazon. All right, so let's get our bell like in place. And I'm going to tie this in a knot just to hold that bell in place like that. Then we'll turn it upside down and then we'll just tie a bow. I love that little flat bell. It adds a little bit of bling and just in like even in the name, it's flat. So it's not gonna add a lot of bulk. All right, so we're gonna cut our tails bring this over to our card and I'm also going to put this at an angle so let's get our little greeting stamped and get some of that paper off of there all right so let's stamp our little greeting on here I'm just going to have my grid paper and that's just going to help me figure out how good I mounted my stamp we're using real red ink and the stamp sets I used are Christmas season, these also came back, and Christmas to remember, All right? So we want real red, I also have mint macaron, here it is. So I also have mint macaron. Right. Now, I wanna take my mint macaron And I'm gonna stamp that right on there. So we've got our pretty little leaf. It's not mint macaron, it's soft sea foam. I always get these two mixed up. Oh my gosh, it's um, soft sea foam, I apologize. All right. And then we're gonna take our, have a holly jolly Christmas. Now there's several images in this stamp set that fit on this die. And this die is the seasonal labels. So it's up to you if you wanna use the same greeting. All right, so I just wanna see how straight. I like this one because it's kind of um, askew when they did the writing. So if you're a little off, it's not that big of a deal. So I did really, really good on that one. So I'm just going to stamp that right over my holly in the background or the leaves or whatever they are so it just adds a little bit of something to the card because we have a lot of movement already on the card because we have um you know we have texture here here we have all these pretty colors here so i didn't want it to make it too busy but I didn't want it just to be plain when I stamped it. So that's why I put that um, little leaf back there and I love how it looks. All right, so let's take some dimensionals. 
and we'll stick that on the card. So I used a few dimensionals on this card. So this is going to have dimensionals. I also want to pop this up because it has that baker's twine back there. So even if you don't pop it up as high as a dimensional, at least use a glue dot so that the glue dot will be able to, um, it's a little thicker adhesive because now that you have the baker's twine back there, it just makes the cardstock not be able to rest against the other cardstock when you're gluing it. So you kind of need something that has a little bit of height to it to kind of go over that um, ribbon so everything adheres good. All right, so this I'm also going to put at an angle. You don't have to. You can totally glue it straight. I just kind of like that, um, how it's kind of crooked like that. All right, and then we're going to put our little have a holly jolly Christmas right there. Then you have these little bling bling. And we're going to put these on the card. So I'm just going to put them one, two, and three. So there's the first project. Isn't that cute? and then just stick it in the envelope. What's nice is these envelopes already have a design on them, on the back and the front, so I'm not even gonna stamp on them because they're so cute. All right, totally forgot to show you the flat jingle bells. Okay, so these are where the, the jingle bell trinkets came from. Now this is just an envelope I store them in. They don't come in that envelope. And here is the brick and mortar die. But like I said, I will have the supplies underneath the video so you can order what you need if you want to make the cards identical. Okay, now I'm going to clean up and do card number two. Okay, so for the second card for August Guts, is this so cute? Shall I call it stinking cute? Because it is a little piggy. This little piggy says, happy birthday. Hope it's the best. And I have done this layout before with other cards and I just could not resist playing around with the little pig set. So this is card number two. And these are the pieces that you will get to do the pig. Now, what's different about this one is you are going to need to get your own die and your own pig set. Now you're probably saying, I don't remember seeing a die for the pig. Well, next month, you are going to be able to get the playful piggy dies, which go with this birthday piggy. So if you um, don't have, you know, the stamp set, you can get them together next month. If you already have the little piggy, you can get the die alone, okay? So you will need to get your own because I won't have um, these die cut out, okay? All right. And I'm also using the stripes and splatters. I'm like looking around. I think that's, that's all. And I'm also using the Celebrate Every Day DSP. But remember, I will have the list underneath. All right, so these are the pieces that will be inside your envelope for your card. So you've got a piece of Pool Party, which is your card base. Now, you have a piece of basic white. This is what you are going to stamp your piggy on and I'm going to be using my Stampin' Blends, of course. All right, so we are gonna stamp our piggy and I gave you quite a big a piece and you might have scrap at home, right? I always stamp on scrap before I cut real paper. All right, so you wanna, wanna stamp your pig. Let it dry. I let it soak in the paper really good. You're also going to want to stamp the, not hope it's the best, it's this one. This little piggy says happy birthday. You're also going to want to stamp that. Now it's up to you if you die cut first, because this has got, this is one of the dies out of the little piggy, and that's where I have my greeting. So like I did before, I'm just going to stamp 
with my scrap to see how good I mounted my greeting. Let's see. Oh, I did pretty good. All right, so then I'll stamp that on the thing. So it's up to you. Sometimes you can stamp and then die cut it out. Now I have to stand up if I can see. All right, so this little piggy says happy birthday. It flipped over. All right, so there's my little greeting. All right, then you will die cut out your pig. So I did that ahead of time. And look how cute you have that little pig. It even die cuts out that hole so that it has the space there for the string. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's get to the card. So we're going to color our little piggy. Let me flip this over so we don't have to look at Holly Jolly the whole time. All right. So let's color our pig. So I have a bunch of blends and we're going to make our pig be a little dirty, but it's up to you if you want to do that. You can have it just be a pig pig. All right, so let's see here. So I want to take my dark flirty flamingo and we're going to put a little dark here and there. I don't use the dark tons, but this time I am just because he's a pink pig. All right, so I just put a little bit there, a little bit on his arms. All right. We also want light flirty flamingo on his cute little cheeks, finish his little nose. Under here. And then we're gonna come back with this light. I'm just trying to get just kind of placement of stuff. All right. So keep your light flirty flamingo out. You also want your dark petal pink because I want his little face to be a little bit of a different color than his body. So we're just adding a little bit of dark petal here and there. So that's good. And then light petal. Okay. Now I want to take the light flirty flamingo that we did that little cheek and we are going to color the whole piggy with the light flirty flamingo. So it, it, this is just the color I picked. We're also going to come back and add some dark flirty as well as the light polished pink. So it'll give a little bit more of that pink color. We're also going to add a little bit of the tones so that he's got some mud or she could be a she pig. All right, so there's our cute little pig. So let's add some fun little colors. So I want my light polished pink. And we're going to put a little bit of light polished pink around. Now you might decide, you know what? I want my pig to be really bright. And maybe you color your whole pig with the polished pink. I don't think you can go wrong with any color. All right. So I'm just putting a little bit of pol light polished pink on our cute pig. Then I have, let's see, six and four for my spots. All right, so we're gonna take 400 and we're gonna put some little spots here and there. So kind of like how we colored the kitty last month. But like I said, if you want to not do this with your piggy, it's up to you. I'm gonna do his little feet. So that was with 400. Now we're just going to put some little scribbles and it just looks like he's been Playing in the dirt. Got to do it on his ears. And some little speckles. So this was number 400. And then let's do some with number 602. 
so he'll have a couple variations of dirt on him. And at the end of his tail too, how about? So it's just fun. I just think it makes him look so real. Let's put it around his mouth that he was eating some dirt. All right. So that looks cute. So now let's not forget we have, he's sitting in the dirt, but I want the dirt to be a little bit different color underneath. You could have it be the same, but I'm just gonna pick the crumb cake so it's a little bit softer. So this is just light crumb cake. And then we'll do dark crumb cake. But I was so excited when I saw these dies. Now these dies are while supplies last. So if you want them, you wanna make sure you grab them right away as soon as September comes. As a demonstrator, we are able to order things now. So if you want to get these dies now and you don't want to wait, then you can um, join my team and you can get them now. And um, so, I mean, that's what I would probably do, but I'm just giving you that idea. All right, so isn't he so cute? Oh my gosh. We have this awesome barbecue place by our house and I love making them like pig stuff and take over there. They have my little calendar sitting on the thing. All right, so this was light pool party and dark pool party. And then I basically just wanted to use some of the colors that were in the DSP. And that was the granny apple green. So we're gonna put um, some granny apple green on the cake. So our frosting is really, really fun and bright. So this is light granny apple. And then we'll put some dark granny apple just along the side there. And then in the center, we're going to use the polished pink. I'm also going to put polished pink on our candle and on the balloon. So this is light polish pink. And then we'll do dark polish pink. Just to add a little bit of dimension to our balloon and also on the edge here of our cake. And I'm gonna take dark daffodil because we need to have our candle is lit. And then you may or may not have a gel pen. These are readily available on Amazon, but I'm just gonna put a little couple dots on the freckles and I'm gonna put a little bit on here, but this is just me, you don't have to do that. You know me, I like my gel pen. All right, so look how cute the little piggy is. We also wanna put a little wink of Stella on our candle. And I'm just putting a little bit on the balloon so that it looks like, you know, a shiny balloon. So let me lift that up so you can see. See how that sparkles with that wink of Stella. Oh my God, this piggy, piggy wiggy is so cute. All right, so let's put our card together. So we have all our little pieces here. Oh, while I have this greeting out, I need to remember, or while I have that out, my blends. We need to do the inside of the card. Da, 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 almost forgot the inside. So this time I did do the inside. So sorry about that. All right, so we want to put our, hope it's, the best. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to stamp and see how straight I mounted that. Sometimes I do really good and then sometimes I don't. All right, so hope it's the best. And then we have this cute little butterfly and she's tiny. So put a little butterfly on there. Great. So let's put a little bit of color 
on these pieces. And I'm just going to take my light granny apple and my light flirty, or my dark flirty. Alright, so dark flirty. I just want to emphasize happy birthday. So we're going to go birthday and happy. You don't have to, but I kind of like to emphasize that. All right, so we have that. We also need to color our um, butterfly. So let me get my right colors out. All right, so we want our polish pink, light polish pink, and dark. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my dark pool party and I just want to go like that. So it looks like the butterfly is flying. Okay, now we can put our card together. All right, so we have this, and I could not resist using the splatter because it's a pig, right, in a mug. So there would be splatters. So I just used the splatter die. So that's already on there. And I also used the stylish shapes and the layering circle dies. All right, so let's bring all our pieces over here. So this is on the front of the card. So this is that Celebrate Everything DSP that is available to hostesses only. So if you are placing an order of 150 in order to earn goodies and guts and all that stuff, you could pick this DSP for free. All right, so this is the inside of the card. Right there. Hope it's the best, I love that. All right, we wanna put this on the front of the card. Sometimes my seal wants to be a turkey, all right? So we're gonna put this on the front of the card. like that and then this goes on the inside so I just kind of eyeball that it's about the same um, side on or same size all the way around all right so that's on there then this flips up this flips down then we can put our little circle on here and I'm going to use dimensionals on that. And I'm like looking all over for my dimensionals. They're always hiding. So then I start a new packet. Here we go. And then I find it. It's usually how it goes. Because now I'm looking off to the side and I see it. Now that I have this new packet coming. All right. Now I'm just going to put the dimensionals kind of in the center here because it's going to stick out a little bit. So I don't want any dimensionals going on the outside of the card. So I'm just going to kind of keep them within the circle so that they don't stick the card in the wrong spot. All right, so that's going to go on there. That looks about even. And so see, you don't see any dimensionals on the other side so that's good I'm gonna do the same thing with the greeting I'm gonna keep them kind of in the center even though this fits real good sometimes it's just a good habit to get into just in case you want it to stick out a little bit which adds a little bit of character to your cards and then you don't have the dimensionals in the wrong spot all right so here we have this little piggy it says happy birthday now let's bring him over. Oh, I could just kiss him. I love this set so much. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with these dimensionals. I'm going to keep them within the center of the pig because he's going to stick out a little bit, and I don't want to have any issue with it sticking in the wrong spot. So this is going to make sure it sticks good, but not overhang the card. All right, so then let's put our little piggy on. 
Oh, look how stinking cute he is. So here is card number two. Now, if you want, you would definitely decorate your envelope just to save time. I could just, here, I'm going to just put a little butterfly on there. There. I can always add more after, but at least I know that this envelope now goes with this card because it has the little butterfly on it. All right, so this is card number two. Now, this is the project that I did last week that I had people requesting, please do that as guts. So I'm like, hey, if you want something, I will do it within reason. <laughs> All right, so this is actually you're getting the supplies to make this. Now, I don't have the candy in there, so then you can just fill it with whatever you want, right? I just got that from the dollar store. But you might want to put, um, you know, candy corn or whatever, so I won't send candy with it. So you can get your own um, for, your, for your choice. But this is what you're going to get for this card. So here is, you know, the piece that was in your envelope that I poured out. All right, so this is what you're going to need for the little bag and I will reference back to the um to this card on the video I will put the link to doing this card all right so you have your cute little peekaboo bag that you need we talked about the ribbon this is what you'll need to stamp your bewitching so you've got your bewitching and your little feet. So you've got your basic white. You have your tiny little tag here. And I got that from Scary Cute is where, where I got, you know, the little greeting. You might have something else on hand. But so you have, so this goes on here. You're going to tear this to put on the bottom. You have your little tag. And I just gave you full sizes of these, even though I just used partial. That way, you know, you could rip it several places. Maybe, you know, you can get more use out of it. Um, so anyways, all right. So there's the pieces that you're going to get for this one. So let me um, put the projects here again so that you can see. So here is the cute little pig card. So one two and let me get the christmas one i'll take it out of the envelope so these are the three guts that you will get the pieces for now remember nothing is stamped you'll have to get your own stamps to do it um but if you have other stuff that fits by all means use that but remember that you are going to have to get um the piggy die and this also is the punch and I have to get that. Hang on a second. You'll need the punch. I knew I forgot something. You will need the punch. So this is the witch builder punch. Or you can hand cut out it, but it does punch that out. Um, and it is a bundle with the bewitching. But like I said, I will put the supplies underneath the video. If you have any questions at all, make sure you um, let me know. But oh... This was, I just, I think I love all the guts, but, um, but sometimes you just kind of have a favorite. All right, so let me turn the phone so I can say, see you later, alligator. There I am. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And, um, otherwise, I'm so excited to bring you August goodies and guts and or guts. Um, but I love that many of you um, are placing enough that you're actually getting both. And then I send you an email and I just say, which do you want? You know, one or the other. Um, but if you do the 150 before tax and shipping in the month, you get them both. Um, so make sure you always let me know um, because if I don't hear from you, uh, these come um, at the beginning of the next month, right? Like I'm getting um, July's will be going out. Um, if I don't hear from you, then I just kind of, it's a surprise. You know, you get one or the other. Um, 
if you don't let me know. Okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing, and I will um, see you Friday for my dyes shorts. And um, have a great night, and I will um, talk to you soon. All right, bye for now.